Welcome back to Game Logger. My name is Fubexi, and I am continuing with some more of The Walking Dead Season uh, 2, Episode 5. Uh, this is the final, of course. Or else they're gonna make another episode extra like they did with the first season. Uh, which we don't know yet, but we'll see. They did announce a Season 3, so it's not over, so... We'll see. Wish they'd finished this place. What are you all? Are you serious? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You got a serious issue, you and woman. I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Good for you. It's not like I let him die or anything. I actually tried. Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! <laughs> seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Hey, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He's a douchebag. Mary Jane? Anyway, really? the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Who do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? 
We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. Mexico, we my friend. Talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Yeah, I remember that. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! Better talk some sense into him. Working on it. For his sake. Trying to keep everybody happy here, okay? God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know. But sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to not trust anyone. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Could just you know, be another dead end. When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. 
We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. Smog is everywhere, but Mexico is probably just another dead end too. So it's like 50-50. Even if you could go to Mexico, I mean. Fuck that noise. Is that a ball? What the hell? You serious? Mike. Are you fucking serious, Mike? For real. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, you just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just we don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. All right, Clem. Now I'm going to walk up to you nice and slow. Jesus Christ, man. Clem. Clementine. Huh? What the? Uh, Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. I always thought he was faking it. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. 
She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Time to wake up. Shot in the fucking shoulder there. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howes. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. It's miles in the other direction. We should go back to house. Now, Clem? It's our best chance. I get it. Just ganging up on Kenny now. Good. Kenny, come on. No, I see how this is gonna go. She's filling your head with bullshit. She can think for herself, Kenny. So let her, Jane. Look. Even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. 
Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Oh, Nothing. God. Are Nobody you fucking cares. serious? You Calm down. Nobody but yourself. That makes you... Eyes on the road. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I could... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We, we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. We owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. No fucking way, Kenny. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. That fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Holy fuck. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Not Are gonna happen. Serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? What the fuck? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit. You serious? Oh, get out of there! The door is stuck! Shit! Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Close the Clint, fucking hurry. door! Get out! Jane, hurry! Jane, wait! <sighs> Fuck's sake! Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my God, are you serious?
You're gonna get caught in a snowstorm. You should have stayed at the fucking vehicles, man. Can't see. Dumb fucking idea. Stone there. That's concrete. Building. Oh, it's a park. Yeah, okay. Playground. Jane? Kenny? You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Kenny, you can't do anything. Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Did you fucking Jane, lose the kid? You okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? you do? He's... What are you saying? No. No! No. Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. How could you let this happen? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Is it true? Get out of my way. Penny? Fucking serious. 